These are nine genius ideas for your house plants that really help you look after your plants better and leave you with very happy plants. These ideas will help you keep pests away, save you some money and boost the health of your plant. Who doesn't want that? Do you want a natural and effective insecticide you can easily make yourself? This tip is a budget-friendly and eco-friendly way to control the bugs on your indoor plants and it involves using orange peel rather than throwing them away. Orange peel contains a natural insecticide called D-limonene that will repel all sorts of bugs such as ants, flies and mites. The smell of citrus puts these pests off, giving you pest-free plants for free. Making it is thankfully very simple. Take the peel of about five oranges and boil in a saucepan with a cup of water for 15 minutes. The compounds in the orange peel will leach into the water, leaving you with a mixture that will deter pests. Let the mixture cool and then strain into a spray bottle. Use the mixture to spray the foliage of your plants to keep pests away. Did you know you can use the cinnamon powder in your kitchen for two cool plant hacks? The first is using it as a control against fungus and rot on the stems or roots of your plants. If you have a part of the stem that is rotting, then cinnamon can be used for damping off fungus. Cinnamon can also be used as an effective control against those pesky fungus gnats. The reason for this is because cinnamon is effective at destroying fungus which is a key food source for the fungus gnat larvae. Once you disrupt the food source of the larvae, you disrupt the life cycle of the gnat and the population will die off. All you need to do is lightly sprinkle the cinnamon on the surface of the soil of your infected plant. Smells great too. Just make sure you use pure or true cinnamon. This is a purer and stronger type of cinnamon and will work better against fungus gnats. Are you going away on holiday anytime soon? Are you worried about how you're going to water your plants while you're away? Well, the next genius idea is to make use of used plastic bottles, such as those 500 milliliter Coke bottles as a drip irrigation system while you're away. This is something I use on my more precious plants that I know will need some water while I'm away. Take a used plastic bottle, carefully pierce the cap with something sharp and insert a cotton bud into the hole. This will stop the water coming out too quickly. You're effectively making a drip irrigation system. Next, you want to grab a stick of some kind and tape it firmly to the bottle. Fill the bottle with water, put the cap on and insert the stick part into the soil so that the water can drip into the soil slowly. Easy peasy. Do you sometimes break your terracotta pots? If you do, then don't throw away the pieces. Instead, use them to cover the drainage holes in your plant pot. This will allow water to continue to flow out the bottom of the pot, which is crucial for good drainage, but it will also prevent the soil from the pot coming out too, which creates an annoying mess. Simply take a broken piece and lay it over the drainage hole of the pot and plant your plant on top. If you don't have a broken terracotta pot, then just use something that is non-absorbent and will allow water to flow through, but not the soil. Simple. If you propagate plants regularly like I do, then you're probably using rooting hormone to help with the rooting process. This increases the speed and success rate of rooting cuttings. Well, did you know that you can use honey as an effective rooting hormone instead? The reason honey works as a rooting hormone is because it has antibacterial and antifungal properties that protects the cuttings from pathogens that then allows the natural rooting hormones in the cuttings to stimulate root growth. So take your cuttings, dip the ends into some honey and plant in the soil like you normally would. You should have roots quicker. Identifying pests on your plants, such as spider mites, can be tricky with the naked eye because they're so small. A lot of the time we are relying on seeing the very fine webbing on the plant which is too late really to stop an outbreak or using a magnifying glass to try and spot them. So a nifty little trick is to take some clear tape, wrap it around your hand so that the sticky side is on the outside. Now you can press your hand against the leaves of your plants and any bugs present should be stuck to the tape. Inspect the tape to see if you have any bugs and then act accordingly. If you have a wood burning stove in your house, then don't throw out the ashes 
Instead, the ashes can be used as an effective fertilizer for your plants. Wood ash is a good source of potassium, phosphorus, and magnesium. And when added to the soil of your plants can give them a boost in nutrients. Potassium and phosphorus are two of the three macronutrients that will help the plant develop stronger roots and also help push out flowers and fruits. I add a cup of wood ash to my potting mix when I'm making a fresh batch for my plants. You don't wanna to add too much as this can affect the alkalinity of your soil, which may upset your plant. If you have lots of baby plants or cuttings that you are growing out, then it can be really useful to increase the humidity around those plants. Doing so helps the small plant grow stronger and develop into a larger plant. A really cool hack then, is to take a used two litre or larger plastic bottle and cut the bottom off with some sharp scissors. Keep the cap on and place the bottle over a small plant or cutting. Here you've essentially created a micro environment for your plant with high humidity. Within a couple of hours, you'll begin to notice condensation on the sides of the dome so you know it's working. Take off the dome every couple of days to give the plant some fresh air and keep an eye on the watering. But other than that, you're good to go. The next genius idea is to make use of the water you use to cook your vegetables, rice, pasta or eggs rather than pouring it down the sink. When you cook vegetables such as peas, carrots, broccoli in a pan, most of the nutrients and goodness in the veg leaches into the cooking water. Boiling eggs also leaches calcium into the water. This means that the water you have used to cook your vegetables, etc., can be used as a nutrient boost for your houseplants. This acts as a very gentle fertilizer for your plants and should give them a boost. If you always use cooking water to water your plants, then this is a free source of fertilizer, which is great as an inflation buster for looking after our plants. Just don't use the water if you have added salt to the cooking water. Here are seven things that plant experts do to their house plants that you probably don't. So make sure you click on the link for super healthy house plants and I'll see you there.